wonders and wonderful miracles from Banormiti Archangel Michael. When they were building the holy temple, the, the holy temple, the the bell the bell room in Panormiti, they have no more no no animals to uh, gather the cargoes and move them and they couldn't finish their work uh, to make it till the the holy ceremony of uh, Saint uh, Archangel Michael. That happened in 1905. Then the the work remained at it, as it was without any progress. The Saint, the Holy Father, uh, the Luminous, uh, the Holy Father, Father Ignatius, um, started praying and put the salvation of the problem to the Holy Archangel. The weather began to become very rough and uh, it became dark. A Turkish vessel, that is a Turkish boat, went from Marmaras, former went to Marmaras, and its cargo uh, started to move ar around very dangerously, and because it was a very bad weather, uh, the vessel was passing by outside Panormiti. Then the Turkish, the Turkish captain Osman, cried cried out loud towards to Panormiti to the archangel and asked. For his help, and he said that if Archangel helped him, then a part of the cargo would be uh, to, would be sent to Panormitis again uh, at once, and it was it would be given to Panormitis. Osman stopped the boat, and uh, 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 at, at once the cargo stopped moving, and Osman stopped the boat as it was and uh, gave a present to the monastery, the, uh, the cargo of the blankets, that was his own personal fortune. Uh, and if you can guess what the cargo was, inside the ship and went toward to Cyprus, it was five of them, it was, it was full of newels, and five of them was on the deck, and these were the cargo, these were the mules that the captain gave to Panormiti, to the archangel, to, for the salvation of his ship and his cargo. Everybody was very uh, um, upset and very, uh, very surprised at, on how the Holy Divine, the, the Divine Grace, uh, act. And some of the people would say, okay, okay, you tell me this, but... How can the archangel, the archangel, helps the Turks? And how the Turks send for help and ask for help from archangel? That means that, what I have to say is that, when the, the God wants a person to be solved, solved, then it will be solved and it will be salvated. So, if the Turk went by outside, outside the port, he had respect to the holy archangel that was a very great opportunity for uh, to uh, ask for the salvation and his own salvation and God gave it to him. Archangel 2, the second miracle of Archangel. It's a miracle that happens in the villages, Spatharians and the villages um, of, of Pagonda in Samos Island. According to the tradition, the uh, archangel's icon came from the sea. When far, far away, a lot of years ago, Samos was full of a big um, disease called plague, the only village that had not any victims was uh, the Spatharian, uh, 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 the Spatharian village. The people, the people in Spatha Spatharia. A lot of them, by testimony that uh, that miracle said that at night they saw taxiarchies, they saw archangel, 
um, moving around the city, the, the small, uh, the small city, and um, it, he protected uh, the Spafarian uh, village from the the plague sickness. Uh, the whole Samos was full of people who were sick and dying all the time. This um, information came from the nearby village was called that was called Pagonda, which which people were full of uh, plague and they were dying by thousands. So they asked from the people from Spatharia, uh, the, the icon of uh, um, Taxiarchy of Archangel Michael, and uh, the Spatharian people gave them to them as, as much as it happens, as soon as um, the icon came, uh, went to the village of Pagonda, the, the people started to, uh, started to become well again and none of them died uh, after that, after the icon came, uh, came there. But they refused to give back the icon. The Spatharian people then uh, managed to take the icon from the Pagonda people. The Pagonda, the Capagonda people's uh, people, though, uh, so seeing that that icon was full of miracles, um, and they saw that Archangel was um, in charge of plague, and as soon as um, the icon was in their in their village, uh, the people stopped dying. He, they went to the Spatharian uh, village and stole the icon once again and tried to take it back to their island to uh, to their um, um to their village the the pagonda village at uh, at one time uh, when they reached uh, the point uh, which uh, the, which the word uh, uh, the village Spatharian becomes uh, the village of pagonda uh, they have some uh, pine trees there and as soon as they reached the pine trees, the icon became so heavy that not even a thousand people could even lift it. And it stood there. And at the same time, as soon as the icon could move, uh, the, uh, the pine tree, which had two branches, started to light as much as uh, uh, it was um, the sun itself from divine light that assures uh, that assures the the place there that they called him they called the place the pines of the taxiarchy the pines of the archangel Michael uh, our uh, protector uh, taxiarchy's archangel uh, made a miracle there and. Uh, continues to make a lot of miracles to the people. Uh, one day, uh, the the person, uh, the person who lights the candles in the monastery of uh, Archangel, when the light uh, was off, it means that um, it meant that some uh, something happened would ha would happen to that uh, to that uh, uh, place. And uh, one day, when uh, the candle lit off, then uh, one of the people who were walking there fell off the ladder, and uh, uh, that happened during the uh, the making of the temple. But they uh, and they understood that that person would would die, but none none so ever happened to that person, and he went up, he gave up. He got up as nothing with nothing, no with not even one injury. The person, uh, the uh, taxiarchist, uh, also uh, gets in front of people who make uh, un unlawful things and unjust things and put the things right. Three times they uh, tried to uh, put a crystal in front of the icon. Uh, to protect it, the, uh, pe the person who lights the candle says that uh, during the night, Archangel put it to pieces, put the crystal to pieces, because he doesn't want 
to be protected. He wants to protect people. And he saw them that he doesn't want, and he doesn't want that uh, crystal in front of them. That is, in a few words, the historical place and the, the, the history about the protector and uh, guardian angel, the archangel Michael, which, which protects the Samos Island and uh, uh, never fails to, uh, to help those uh, people. And uh, as, um, as a, a divine, as divine grace that comes from him, uh, nothing happens to the Samos Island. That uh, also uh, testimonies about it. Uh, Georgius um, by George Papa Nicolaou, Georgius Papa Nicolaou, which is the pro a professor of the Byzantine Byzantine and European music that um, uh, lived uh, in that place in Samos Island, and he wrote some of the miracles that happened. Uh, through the archangel's help. Another miracle, that uh, the third miracle of uh, Archangel Michael, uh, saying the miracles of Archangel of the other all the other saints. That doesn't mean that the only miracles that I translate are the only ones that prove that uh, the saints and the archangels and God Himself and uh, Maria Theotokos is. That are the only miracles that uh, happened from uh, that those uh, that uh, the saints are giving to us. No, there are some of the miracles that I, uh, the sinner, tries to uh, um, to translate and give it to you so that you can understand what Orthodox uh, faith means. Uh, I translate the third miracle now. Uh, some some day, some Sarakini, some pirates came to the monastery of the Taxiarches of the Archangels in Mandamado of Lesbo, and they killed all the monks there. Only uh, a small monk uh, who was um, who was uh, small enough to hide himself called Gabriel, and when he uh, saw the pirates coming, he went up to the roof of uh, the temple. Then he saw that Archangel Michael came itself and turned those pirates away and to to uh, uh, to solve the whole village uh, the, the whole village and island from them. Then Gabriel uh, went down from uh, the roof and gathered the martyrical blood of the monks who died by the hands of the pirates and. He uh, just put it together with uh, some pure, pure uh, soil ground from uh, from the ground and started to make the icon of the taxiarchy of Archangel as he saw him chasing away uh, the pirates. And uh, as uh, when he finished, a brick miracle happened um, in. Uh, just a few uh, minutes, the whole icon was full, and he had just the, the face of the archangel as he was while he was chasing the pirate. And um, his face is very strict, but it's also um, very divine, and shows how good the archangel is, and that. He really loves us and he wants to protect us. This icon is salvated uh, till today and testifies miracles after um, one miracle after the other uh, every day after day. When uh, after that the monastery of Panormidi of Simi was uh, built, Simi Island, and the Christians uh, used to uh, to um, throw into the sea. Whatever they um, they devote to taxiarchy, and uh, that uh, that present to the taxiarchy goes itself by the miracles of archangel goes itself and uh, stays at the harbor in front of the monastery. Then uh, the monks gather it and take it to the archangel as the person has uh, has uh, given it to, as a present to taxiarchy.
to uh, the Archangel. The next miracle of Archangel. In Phrygia, there was a temple and holy water of Archangel Michael that it did a lot of miracles. The Greek the Greeks were very jealous and hated the, the monastery and wanted to destroy it. They made uh, some big um, holes so that they can bring the two rivers that come from the east uh, above the church so that it can be destroyed. Uh, the Ecclesiarchus, the, the man who was... Uh, um, in, uh, was in charge of uh, the temple called Archippus, learned what they were going to do and he didn't know what to do about it. So he went uh, to the uh, icon of Archangel Michael and started crying there. And uh, he was saying to the taxi, to the taxiarchy, to uh, the archangel that they are going to destroy the temple. Then Archangel um, came in front of him and uh, told him uh, not to be afraid. He was holding a big rope, a big um, wooden, wooden, uh, um, a piece of wood, a very, a very, very big. Don't be afraid, he told him. Just believe. When the water came near the, the temple and wanted to fall, into uh, the walls of the temple, Archangel put the big, um, the big uh, um, wood and hit the stone of uh, the ground of the temple and the hole became so big that it sucked down the two rivers and de destroy them and uh, they uh, were gone from the face of the, of, of the earth. That miracle was called um, an Honus miracle, and uh, the, the place was called Honus. Next, the next miracle of Archangel. Archangel Michael, who, who uh, is from Thari, the monastery of uh, Rhodos, Rhodos Island. The venerable and historical uh, um, Temple of Thari in Rhodos Island is distinguished among among the centuries as a spiritual center, a place of peace and prayer. It was built between the ninth and eleventh centuries from a, from a princess from in Byzantium that we don't know her name. Archangel Michael told her in his sleep that to uh, to be courage, to have courage and be encouraged because she was going to become well again from the, um, the very bad sickness that she had. It was tuberculosis or leprosy uh, that they was, she was suffering from. To be grateful to uh, the Archangel, she built the temple uh, in his name in Thari of Rhodos. So, uh, so beautiful that it distinguishes even today for its art and beauty uh, inside and outside. Today, it is uh, a, a monastery that is still working and uh, there are some people who live there, some monks. And they are they have a very missionary uh, activity that is known around the whole place. They took um, the treasure from the holy monastery of Philotheus, and they sent him uh, there. The the the, 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 the the archangel came to them and told them. Leave the treasure in the um the previous position that he had in the world, so that it can heal the sick people and um unify and enforce the uh, faith of the previous people of the people who believe 
in God. The Holy Father uh, reluctantly hesitated and uh, didn't take it. The, then the Archangel came to his sleep again and told him, If you don't move the treasure, I will. The Holy Father go there and went to um, the place that they had the treasures and saw that it wasn't there because the holy uh, the holy taxiarchis the holy archangel took it by him by himself archangel michael put the the treasure on a, a, a wild olive tree the holy father sent a priest uh, the spiritual uh, theona the priest to seek for it the um, The shepherd who said, uh, who saw the first time the uh, the holy uh, the holy um, treasure on the wild olive tree, saw him again uh, that was shining more and more, uh, and looked like the sun itself, and called the monk theologos to get it from there and move it to uh, the holy te- holy monastery and from there to the world so that it can stay there there with a lot of um, honors it was uh, gathered went to uh, its base the, the sixth wings of the holy monastery was made by Uh, a priest called Anastasius from a Bulgarian uh, village nearby whom uh, the, who, m- who was made well again by the holy uh, the holy treasure and he called for him for his help for his help for God's help and God made him well with uh, the presence and uh, the miraculously intervention of the holy of the holy um, treasure of the monastery these are the end of the uh, archangel um, archangel's wonders but it's not the end because archangel is making uh, miracles day and day and day after day I'm just I just read some of the miracles, nothing more. There are many, many more.